Hi, my name is Sean, and like you, I'm alive. And in order to stay alive, I gotta eat. And in order to eat, I gotta have food. And to get food, I need money, and to get money, I need a job, and to get a job, I've gotta nail an interview. But that's not easy. In fact, that's not easy at all. People interview for jobs every day and never get hired. Why? Because they don't know jack shit. As a guy that's been hired to well over three different jobs, I like to think I know a thing or two about how to do an interview. I'm gonna take you step by step through the entire interview process and teach you the secrets, hints, and tips that will have you getting hired left and right. Let's begin. Now to begin, we're gonna take a step back here and focus on something that is essential to snagging that dream job of yours. The resume. Landing a good job is all about selling yourself. And like any good tube of preparation age, you're a commodity that people may not know they need yet. It's your job to tell them why they need you. And that's where the resume comes in. A good resume consists of job experience and skills. Most people will list mundane jobs. And when you're trying to sell yourself to an employer, mundane is not a word you can afford to be associated with. You gotta be unique. You gotta pop. You gotta stick out like undigested corn on a turd. How do you do that, you may ask? Well, you lie about everything. No one's gonna care about your job experience at Panera Bread where you poured broccoli cheddar soup and made overpriced smoothies. But perhaps if you previously worked as an astronaut, a nuclear physicist, or a mythical dragon, then there's no way you won't be noticed. So when it comes to resumes, just lie as much as you possibly can. It's foolproof. When you meet for an interview, you'll be judged a lot by your attire. You'll also be judged by your clothes. So your outfit is key. I know what you're probably thinking. Well, I'll just wear my best dress clothes. That is the worst possible thing you could ever do because that's what everyone else is gonna do. And remember, we wanna stand out. We wanna pop! So this, Hi. Isn't gonna work. When I say stand out, I mean stand out. Wear the craziest, funkiest, most outlandish clothing you have. In fact, when I show up to one of my interviews, I go in bare ass naked. There's no way they could forget me, especially because of my warts. But anyway, here's a few examples of what I'm talking about, just in case you're still confused. <laughs> All right, now that you've gotten your impressive resume and standout attire, it's time for the actual interview. Interviews are all about questions, and if you already know what these questions are gonna be, well then you're ahead of the game. Most people will tell you that interviewers will ask stuff like, what's your short and long-term career goals? What's one of your weaknesses? What's your pin number? How would you rank the Shrek movies? Having prepared answers for all of those questions is great, but what's even more impressive is if you ask the questions. Yeah, you heard me. You ask the questions. In fact, you answer them too. Employers are looking for people with strong personalities. Nothing says I have a strong personality like taking over the entire interview, alienating and overwhelming the interviewer. In fact, I highly advise intimidating the interviewer. Whether it be physically or verbally, dominating your employer will let them know you're serious about the job. Well, that's all the steps. Sound easy? Sound difficult? Well, for all those skeptics out there, I've actually decided to record one of my interviews to display how well my methods work. Oh, hello. You must be... Sean! I'm here for the job. Well, uh, the interview. Well, the job. Well, the interview for the job. Uh, yeah, yeah, have a seat. It's a, it's an interesting get-up you got on there. Oh, I thought you'd notice. Um, all right then, let's talk a little bit about your resume. Sounds great. Uh, okay then, uh, I saw some stuff on here I'm a bit curious about. Like what? Well, according to this beautiful resume, it says here that you previously worked as an astronaut, 
the President of the United States and Jerry Seinfeld. Yup. You worked as the comedian, Jerry Seinfeld. Someone's gotta do it. <sighs> Something wrong? Yeah, I just find it a bit hard to believe that an astronaut and the former President of the United States is applying for a job at Arby's. Times are rough. You don't say. Look, are we doing an interview or not? Fine, fine. Um, what are some of your short-term What's my short-term career goals? Um, get enough money to buy the Lego Death Star set. Okay, well... What's my long-term goals? Well, actually, I was gonna ask... Oh, I'll take it from here, Chief. Take what? The interview. I, uh, don't really need your help right now. Who are you looking at? Long-term goals, though. Uh, well, one is definitely to stay alive. It kind of suck if I die. Uh, I guess another one would be to own my own business. Oh, okay, that's reasonable. What kind of business were you thinking about? Uh, I don't know, maybe like a subway that gives happy endings. Well, okay, thank you for whatever that was. Uh, the interview is over now. Sick, so I got the job? No, not at all. What do you mean? This is the worst interview I've ever had. There's no way I would ever hire you. Now please leave. But I did all the steps! What steps? Yeah. Oh, well I did forget one. Um, what are you... Listen here you sorry sack of shit! You're gonna give me the goddamn job or I just wanna cover you like a fucking pumpkin! What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm gonna cut you up! Okay, okay, you got the job! <sighs> wow! Thank you so much. Yeah, no, no problem. Well, uh, have a blessed evening. Um, goodbye. As you can see, the advice I've prescribed is highly effective. And if you follow my simple steps, you'll be sure to get a job in no time. Thank you for tuning in, and don't forget to watch next week's episode where we learn how to properly shave a back.